All right, Dennis, obviously you're over for the crunch a little bit sooner than uh, anticipated for this group, but uh, all in all, a really successful year for this team overall. When you think back about this year, what are you going to remember the most? Uh, I think for sure it was a good season, but not with like we wanted to end the se season in playoffs, but uh, overall there was a lot of good than more bad things that happened in the season, so I think it was a pretty good team team uh, effort uh, throughout the season. Yeah, and it was such a, I mean, a great successful year, 102 two points as a team, 47 wins as a group. Uh, so many things to be proud of, division champions. When you think back about all that, what what are you most proud of of what this team was able to accomplish? I think finishing at the, our um, first in the division, it was pretty huge. And uh, obviously, uh, we had uh, this a lot of points. It's, uh, it was coming to the playoffs. We felt pretty good. But obviously, it was really tough to, to lose to Cleveland. So now, obviously, it will be a special season for this team. And uh, we've heard so much about, you know, and everyone knows how the playoffs are a different animal and at this level in particular and we've seen it in the NHL too uh, what it was your first AHL playoff experience you were hurt last year what what did you learn about the the playoffs and and what can you take from what happened uh, this past week uh, I think like we can see right now in the NHL that the first round it was crazy and the same in every league I think it's uh, no matter where you play the compete level is totally different than um, in uh, season so it's for sure a huge for a huge difference and uh, it's a learning experience for everybody and we've heard also a lot today about how tight this team was in terms of uh, the closeness on and off the ice why do you think that happened this year and, and how does that help this team when you're playing for each other on the ice yeah i would say uh, in any team when there's a lot of trades going on or uh, guys going up and down that's where the, the chemistry can break in the team but uh, i think we had the guys all together mostly for the most part of the season so that for sure helped us and being every day at the rink and traveling so for sure that helped us a lot and for you it was your second year here in Syracuse how do you think your game uh, developed here in year two obviously I wanted to, to have a better season but uh, for sure it was uh, again a uh, uh, good things that I, I learned this year and uh, to bring my uh, better better and my it's going to be my third year here so I would bring my uh, best season so it will be important next year as you look into the summer where where do you look to, to build off of things I mean last year you were hurt heading into the summer so now you're you're healthy heading into this offseason how will that help and what do you look to build up? yeah um obviously that's a good thing that i'm healthy and i didn't have a big injury this year so it was really good staying healthy and strong so just take some break a little bit and um, get uh, training going and like we said second year here in syracuse playing in this city in this arena what's it like to play in front of these fans honestly it's really nice place to play even this ring is uh, not the newest but uh, the atmosphere is uh, i love it a lot to play in front of these people here.